Hi beauties, I hope you had a phenomenal Valentine's Day. So welcome to my channel, my name is Maria. I do content all about makeup, skincare, fashion. I post two to three new videos every single week for you guys so we can keep things fresh. I am so glad you made it here, especially today because we are doing Battle of the Boxes, Ipsy versus Birchbox again, and I cannot wait to dig into these two. So these are the February boxes. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell right next to the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And cue the intro. I know, I look absolutely So in January, I started a new series on my channel of putting Ipsy and Birchbox to the test. I didn't have any monthly subscription boxes yet, so I decided to buy these two to see what I think. So I have committed to both of them for at least six months, and then at the end of the six months, we're going to see what I think if I cancel both or keep both or keep Ipsy or keep Birchbox. So Ipsy and Birchbox are both sample size products or deluxe size samples. Every once in a while, you might get a full size product, but that way the idea here is that you can try them out. And then you can go buy the products that you actually like. So instead of investing in all of them to see what you like, you can try them and then, you know, only get the products you like, which is nice. So let's dig into Ipsy first, because I think in January we did Birchbox first. So we're going to keep it fair and see what we think. If you're not familiar, Ipsy is a monthly beauty subscription box. They do come in like a fun little bag. So you get a bag each month as one of like your gifts. And Ipsy is $12 every single month. So this is a cute little Valentine's Day bag. I did see some spoilers of this. Oh my gosh, it says sealed with a kiss. So that is too cute. You can go on their website and once you have your profile set up, you can customize certain things. I like to be surprised because I'm doing it on camera for you guys. But I do have preferences set up. So my preferences, just so you're aware, are I want more makeup. Um, then next would be skincare. Then next after that would be like perfumes and stuff. So let's see. We have first the Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Gloss Me Hair Serum. So that's pretty interesting. Let's see if we can smell this. Okay. This says it is a unique formula of oils and proteins rich in essential fatty acids and vitamins A, C, and E that make your hair stronger, fuller, and healthier. Um, so I got a lot of hair stuff in last month's Birchbox and Ipsy, I think. I put hair as one of the things I don't need as much. Not because I don't use it. I have a ton of hair, so I definitely use it. I just have a lot of hair products stocked up right now. So. so this little card takes you through all the products, tells you a little bit about them, as well as the values. And it says the MSRP of the full-size version, this is a deluxe sample, the full-size is $24 for the 75 milliliter, and this is the 10 milliliter. Okay, the next thing we have is wrapped up nice and safe. I like the little red bubble wrap. They're definitely going with a Valentine's Day theme here. Ooh, this is cute. This is the Miley? Mally? I don't, it's not Mally Beauty. M-A-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I'm going to have to look this product up. I'm not familiar with this brand. Um, Sunkissed Blush Single in Golden Hour. So this is a cute little blush right there. Let's see if we can swatch it. It looks really shimmery, which kind of scares me. <laughs> Normally, I want my blush next to a highlight, but it doesn't swatch super shimmery, so that's really pretty. I think I am going to like the color of that, so I'll have to try that out. I didn't say earlier. Definitely follow me on my Instagram. It's at Marina Cole Beauty. I put all the products to the test over there, and then I do reviews um, so you can see what I think. I also post favor flops here on my channel every single month, so I kind of do speed reviews of some of the products I've been using this month, so make sure to subscribe if you want to see those. All right, next is, looks like a little eyeshadow duo. So I'm liking the makeup in the box this time. This is the Love You First Perfect Eyeshadow Duo, and it is in rose gold and ivory. Oh, wow. I wouldn't call that ivory. I would call that rose gold and brown. But, I mean, I like neutrals, so we'll see what we think. They come off super creamy. So we put them right next to that blush. And that could be a nice little face right there of those little trios. So I'm assuming this is what they're calling ivory and that's what they're calling rose gold. But interesting. Again, another brand I haven't heard of. So I will have to look at that and see what I think. Okay, I forgot to tell you the pricing on the last one. So the blush, the full size of this palette is $29.00. 
This is 1.6 grams and the full size is 16 grams. And then the eyeshadow duo, the full size is 10.99 for nine grams. This is 2.5 grams. So if the full size of this is worth $11, then this is worth like $2. So when we're talking values here, we got to consider things like that for sure. All right, let's see what else is in our little Valentine's Day envelope. I see NARS. That's exciting. Like me some NARS. So this is the High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner. I don't know if I have a NARS eyeliner right now. Okay, so nice, pretty. It's definitely a small size. It's not a full size. Okay, so let's try this out. Ooh, that was super creamy. I think I'm going to like this. As you can see, I like a nice black um eyeliner <laughs> as well as in my waterline and i have a feeling this is going to be really good as a waterline eyeliner so again follow my instagram if you want to see that in action yeah um this this must be pretty good because the makeup wipe is even having a hard time getting it off so i will take that as a good sign so nars pigment eyeliner the full size is 24 dollars all right i think we should have one more I'm counting right. One, two, three, four. Um, they say you always get five or six products and the bag counts as one of those. So the last thing, oh, a Hava. I love a Hava. Um, I, I love FabFitFun. So FabFitFun is a subscription box that I get quarterly and a Hava is one of the brands they feature a lot. So this is the Dead Sea Osmotor Concentrate Supreme Hydration Cream. So this is for, yes, this is for your face might be sealed. Let me see if I can smell it. Not really, but Ohava is all Dead Sea type products. Um, they usually are so hydrating. They have really, really, really good hand cream that everyone loves. Try their foot cream. I've tried their, um, they have like bath salts and different things, but really good brand. So I'm excited to try that out. That one says the MSRP of the full size is $75 and it is 50 milliliter. This is 15 milliliter. So that's a decent amount. Um, if you, if you look at the value there, that one's pretty decent actually. All right. So that is our cute little Ipsy. Um, we've got the Ahava Dead Sea Salt, the Blush Little Compact, the Eyeshadow Duo, the Hair Serum, and the NARS liner. I'm actually liking that quite a bit. Um, first, the bag is really cute. I might stick this in some of my bigger purses when I need to have like all my little things where I can find them. Um, I might stick that in one of those, but I like that I got three makeup products. That makes me happy. And then I got one skincare and one hair, which that's kind of the ratio that I would love to see. So Good job on this one for me, Ipsy. Okay, let's dive into our Birchbox. So Birchbox is $15 every month. I signed up for six months of it in advance, so that takes it down to $14 if you're interested. I think if you do it for a year, it takes it down another dollar or two per month. So Birchbox is very similar to Ipsy, except that it comes in a box each month, not a little makeup bag. Um, they're collectible type boxes, so I got a little plastic one in my box last time and I used it for my daughter's colored pencils and it's been working perfectly. So it's always fun to see how I can repurpose things because I don't like to waste stuff. All right, so here is the little birch box. This time, nice little pastel colors. They've got this on top, the little card. So we'll take a look at that as we go. But there are all of our products. So let's see what we can pull out. Ooh, this is the Oribe Grandiose Hair Plumping Mousse. Oribe is a really, really high-end hair care line. Um, I have gotten some of their products again in FabFitFun, but I have not tried their hair plumping mousse. I could use all the help I get when I have my hair just down and straight and not with any extensions because I have pretty straight, fine hair. But let me see... So the one thing I like about Ipsy, it tells you the amount of what the full size is. It doesn't tell you in Birchbox, which is tough. Um, it just tells you the price, but not how big the full size product is. But for the Oribe, it says the full size is $39. All right, the next thing we have, I think this is a lip product. Yeah, this is the Estate Lip Icing. I already have a full face of makeup on this time because I didn't know what I was getting. So I'm sorry I'm not trying anything out, but I will have to try some of these out in later videos and over on Instagram for sure. Let's see what color we got. Ooh, that's 
pretty. It's kind of actually giving me fall vibes, but we can certainly pull it off for um, winter and then spring. Yeah, it smells like sugar. So the packaging looks like icing and it's called lip icing. So I was actually hoping it would smell like icing. And it does. I like the applicator. It's got a nice fine tip on the top, which is cool. But let's at least get this swatch. So it does seem like it's sheer. So maybe just like a lip topper. Um, I'm sure I'll wear this on its own too. But mm, it smells good. If anybody is curious, because I always get questions. Um, I have a Stila liquid lipstick on today. It is in the shade sheer patina and then i have the new anastasia diamond lip gloss on top which i have been loving as well as the new iced out highlighter so if you're interested in that i have a full link about that here but i know people always ask me so just plug for that real quickly i also have been loving the elf camo cream i just did a full head-to-head -head with the elf cc cream versus the it cosmetic cc cream so check that out as well all right, back to our regular schedule programming, but for those of you that always ask, there you go. Next is the Perfect Repair Leave-In Treatment. I'm assuming this is a hair product as well. Let me take a look. Nutrient-rich leave-in conditioning foam that restores damaged hair. Yes, so again, I'm getting lots of hair stuff in my birch box. So my preference is, again, I have hair down at the bottom, so that's a little bit concerning. I feel like birch box isn't listening to me. I feel like Ipsy listens to me. They get me. Birch box. Come on. They might be great products, but I, I can't use them all right now. So this does say it's color safe, which is great. I do have colored hair. It's, it's basically my natural color. I just make it a little bit darker. Um, leave-in conditioning foam that restores damaged hair and speeds dry time. The other thing with hair products is I only wash my hair like two or three times a week. So when I talk about a leave-in conditioner, I'm just not using it all that often. Also with my day job, I just wear my hair up in a bun or a ponytail like most of the week. So unless I'm filming or going out somewhere, which I'm not going out anywhere during COVID, I don't really do my hair. So I've got a lot of hair products stacking up, but okay, rant over. Um, I forgot to say this does look full size. It says it is $10. And then the Natural Labs Perfect Repair Leaving Conditioner is, where are you? says the full size is $16. Okay, the next thing we have is the Balance Me Congested Skin Serum. Never had something called a congested skin serum. It says it is 99% natural. I wonder what the 1% <laughs> of unnaturalness is. Is this a, ooh, it smells kind of menthol-y. I guess that makes sense if you think of like what I would want for my like sinuses if I'm congested. It actually smells like that. So an on-the-spot soothing gel designed to... Oh, it's a blemish spot treatment. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. It will help calm inflammation without causing dryness or irritation. Smooth a small amount of gel directly onto spots. That's really good. I don't know if you can tell because, again, the camo cream did a really good job. But I have gotten some blemishes here on my chin recently, I think, from my mask. Um, so I'm definitely going to be trying this out probably right away. It smells like it's going to work. <laughs> For what that's worth um but the full size of this is 23 dollars all right we have one more product this is the touch in soul all-in-one beauty aid cream is this for my face this it just doesn't feel like there's anything in here this is so tiny it's sealed so like at least this one like i can feel stuff this just, I don't know. I love touch and soul, but this seems like I'm going to be able to use it like twice. Um, it says it's $32 for the full size. This intensely hydrating face cream creates a triple barrier moisture shield. Um, so I, I like trying new things, but I just feel like how, I'm going to be able to use this on my face like twice. It feels like there's ser there's cream like in the white part. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I have my expectations are too high. But just to like compare, right? This is Battle of the Boxes. So this is the um, face cream that came in the Ipsy, and it is 15 milliliters. This is the face cream that came in my Birch Box, and it is five 
milliliters. I know the packaging is different, but the milliliters are actually measuring what's inside. And this is three times more than this one. So, and the full sizes of the one that came in Ipsy, the Ahava, the full size is $75. And the full size of this one is $32. So this one's more expensive and Ipsy gave me more than Birchbox did. So first impressions without actually trying all the products this month, Ipsy is the winner and Ipsy won last month. So it is two to zero Ipsy versus Birchbox right now. It doesn't mean I hate Birchbox. Doesn't mean that I might not continue with them. But right now, if you're looking to know which is better, especially if you're potentially like me, where you like more makeup, um, Ipsy is winning. If you're looking at it from a value perspective right now, I think the products I'm getting are better in Ipsy and I'm getting more of the actual products in Ipsy as well. And Ipsy is $12 versus $15. So lots of things to consider there, but if you're looking for a great value and great products, my recommendation as of February, after two months of Battle of the Boxes, winner is Ipsy. So that's the unboxing. I hope you had fun. It's always fun for me to get these in. I got the Ipsy box like two days ago and the birch box yesterday and I knew I was filming it so I couldn't dig into it. So it's always fun getting to unbox it with you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I, I know we're not really together, but I still feel like we're together. I feel like you guys are there. Thank you so much for the support you've given me already on my channel. I'm so excited to continue down this journey with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you next time. Bye.